We have been exploring together the last couple of weeks some of my favorite simple quick read books. And this is the last in this short little series of books like that that I want to share with you. The one I want to speak about this morning is a book that was written by Ken Keyes. I believe it was sometime maybe in the middle uh, 70s. And the book is called Prescriptions for Happiness. How many of you have read this book before? Ken Keyes was an author, a, a, um, a personal growth coach. He founded a method called the Living Love Method. He wrote more than 15 books. He did a lot of traveling around the country, teaching his ideas and conducting workshops and, and retreats. His books have sold over 4 million copies. He passed, I think it was in 1995. Of all of the books that he wrote, this really, I think, is my favorite. It's brief and packs an awful lot of good information in it. I want to begin by reading something on page two of the book that I think really speaks to who he was and what he was dedicated to. He writes, this book is not copyrighted. How many books do you know that are not copyrighted? This book is not copyrighted. It was written as a gift to our world that is suffering from separateness, non-cooperation, strife, and unhappiness. Now, this was written several decades ago. I think it still applies today, maybe even more so than it did then. So I want to pay attention and apply these ideas myself. This book um, was written as a gift to our world that is suffering from separateness, non-cooperation, strife, and unhappiness. To keep prices low, the author receives no royalties on this book or any of his books listed in the back. Anyone on the planet may reproduce this book in whole or in part without permission. It would simply be appreciated if acknowledgement was given to the author. And then he gives in the form that he would like the acknowledgement given. I think that deserves a round of applause and appreciation. He suggests that we've really been shortchanging ourselves of more of the good life that we could all be living, that we, we can live lives of greater happiness and greater peace and greater joy. But it will require, as we well know, those of us who've been part of this spiritual teaching for a while, as we well know, it begins with how we work at things from the inside out. It begins with how we think about things and then the behavior that we choose to practice and participate in from the inside out, from the different thoughts that we're going to think. And so it's not about rearranging things out here, but it is about getting a handle on what, is, what are the things that we can remember inwardly, prescriptions as he calls them, that can help us to live happier lives. You know, the Dalai Lama frequently speaks about happiness as being a, a life purpose. And I don't know about you, but I respect that man quite an awful lot. And when someone of such wisdom and such spiritual insight and maturity says, happiness is important, I, I, I pay attention to that. If you think about it, would you not agree that when people are happy, they do much nicer things than when they're not happy? It can be as simple as that, just like that. Ken cautions that while this book contains three simple prescriptions for happiness, he says that there's some stuff that can get in our way, and this is what he says can get in our way. It's only your mental habits and your selected memories of how you think, of how you think things are that keep you from molding things in your life in a more harmonious way. It is pride or silly models of prestige that get in your way. Sometimes your mind would rather prove itself right than let you be happy. So the first prescription, and these are simple, that's why I've picked these, these books to share with you. The first prescription is ask for what you want, but don't demand it. 